Are you using anything like impulse responses, or are you given any sort of extra extra tools to be able to do anything with, or is that more a, a dialogue editor's kind of realm? They don't do much to the ADR. They just present it to me as is, okay? And then I'll just listen to it. Typically, um, typically production dialogue is not very well recorded, so I try to mimic that by um, high pass, low pass, take a lot of the top end. You know, uh, sometimes I, I'll go down as far as 12K, Minus eight. Sometimes I'm down at eight k. Just a really nice, not a gentle roll off. So uh, it doesn't have that really clean sound to it. Uh, so that'll get me in the pocket. And then if it's in a room, then I'll I'll use my lexicon, uh, either a nine sixty or a four eighty to uh, g give me the space I need to to match the production. So it's uh, it's all on me. I uh, I don't have them. And, and if I if I, lately the last couple of films I've used that uh, plugin called Magic Spectrum. Um, the the editor had it. So a lot of the, sometimes the sound the sound supervisor was yelled to the dialogue editor, put the Magic Spectrum on that. And then okay, so we put it in and it's fine. <laughs> it just was easier for me to do it sometimes for them to do it for me.